fundamentals of product information modeling often start with the 3D CAD model. Autodesk Fusion 360 blurs the line between concept models and fully defined parametric modeling by providing a robust set of features that allow you to explore a concept, add design parameters, introduce associative bodies, edit those bodies with unparalleled ease, and when you're ready, begin to create components for manufacturing. Let's start with sketching out the initial layout of a design. In early phases of product development, oftentimes the shape hasn't yet been fully defined, yet many CAD modelers force the end user to define a shape, input a parameter, or create a part that may have a dependency that through parametric modeling alone is difficult to manage. In this example, the geometry of the shape is fairly well defined, but not the individual components yet. This unstructured modeling technique more closely matches the design process and allows the designer to explore ideas as freely as a Scotsman in a kilt. As you can see, Fusion 360 has all of the modeling features you would expect, and more you wouldn't, as you will see in subsequent videos. Here's a seemingly simple example, modeled threads, a commonly requested user feature that, well, we listen to anyway. Here's another nice example of simplifying the design process, creating a loft and shelling it. Again, a nice place for multi-body because you can just shell the loft feature, which is what you want in this particular use case. The shell is a perfect example rather than creating multiple sketches with multiple profiles and managing all that hassle. Now this next feature is fantastic. It's called boundary fill, which gives you the ability to intersect, cut, and combine all in the same command. This is a great use case for the multi-body Boolean method here. Getting the two intersecting pipe sections is kind of a challenge with traditional modeling tools, and this is a significantly more flexible approach. In contrast to most modeling techniques, we're going to do what's normally first, last. We're going to make the parts. A few right clicks and now the bodies are components. As a result, you have an assembly. Autodesk Fusion 360 is very flexible with a single modeling environment for parts and assemblies. So you don't have to plan in advance and solve the entire design before it's fully defined. Let's go visit autodesk.com forward slash fusion 360 and get started today.